one of the most powerful volcanoes on the planet has started to erupt violently, and experts are already calling it the most catastrophic eruption of the year. In the heart of Indonesia's Flores Island looms a formidable giant, Mount Lewotobi Laki Laki. For decades, this volcano was a looming threat that could strike at any moment and disrupt the lives of the thousands of residents living in its shadow. Now, that dreaded moment has arrived. The volcano recently started erupting with fury, sending thick ash and hot volcanic materials 10 kilometers or 6 miles up into the air. The once verdant landscape is now blanketed in thick, choking ash, and entire communities have been forced to flee as authorities raise the alert level to its maximum. Could this be the precursor to an even more devastating mega-eruption? Today, let's delve into the heart of this ongoing eruption and unravel the layers of this fiery beast. Examining the potential dangers that lie ahead, the possibility of future mega eruptions. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Indonesia, an archipelago of over 17,000 islands, is home to some of the most active and iconic volcanoes in the world. Situated on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped series of seismic fault lines around the Pacific Ocean, the country experiences intense tectonic activity, making it a hotspot for volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Indonesia boasts around 120 active volcanoes, including famous ones like Mount Mirapi, Mount Bromo, and Mount Semeru on Java, as well as Mount Agung on Bali and Mount Sinabung on Sumatra. These volcanoes have a powerful impact on Indonesia's geography, culture, and economy. The country's volcanoes have been both a boon and a bane. On one hand, volcanic activity has created fertile lands that support agriculture and sustain millions of people. On the other hand, eruptions also pose significant risks, with pyroclastic flows, ash clouds, and lava flows threatening communities and displacing residents. Among Indonesia's volcanic giants stands Mount Lewotobi Laki Laki, one of a pair of stratovolcanoes in the East Flores district of East Nusa Tenggara province, known locally as the Husband and Wife Mountains. Laki Laki means man, while its mate is Lewotobi Perempuan, meaning woman. The tectonic activity in this area results from the convergence of the Australian Plate and the Eurasian Plate. As the Australian plate subducts beneath the Eurasian plate, magma rises to the surface, creating a chain of volcanic islands, including Mount Lewotobi. Mount Lewotobi Laki Liki stands at an elevation of approximately 1,584 meters. It is characterized by its stratovolcano structure, which consists of alternating layers of hardened lava, tephra, pumice, and volcanic ash. This type of volcano typically features steep slopes and a summit crater that has experienced periodic eruptions over the centuries. Lewotobi Laki Laki and its twin Lewotobi Perempuan form a distinctive volcanic complex. Although they are geographically close and share a similar origin, the two peaks have their own distinct craters and eruptive histories. The dual peaks are often referred to as a married couple with Lewotobi Laki Laki being the taller and more dominant of the two. The eruptive history of Mount Lewotobi Laki Laki is marked by periodic activity, ranging from minor steam emissions to significant explosive eruptions. Historical records of volcanic activity in Indonesia are often sparse, especially for remote volcanoes like Lewotobi. However, available data suggests that the volcano has been active for centuries. One of the more significant eruptions of Lewotobi Laki Laki occurred in 1921. This eruption was characterized by explosive activity, ejecting ash and pyroclastic material that affected the surrounding areas. Smaller eruptions have been reported in subsequent decades, including in 2003 and 2012 when Lewotobi Laki Laki exhibited increased seismic activity and minor ash emissions. In these eruptions, pyroclastic flows, fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic matter, posed significant hazards. Additionally, 
ash fall from these events occasionally disrupted local agriculture and air travel, underscoring the volcano's impact on both the environment and human activities. The volcano erupted around midnight on November 4, 2024, resulting in significant devastation. The eruption propelled thick brownish ash up to 2,000 meters into the air and expelled hot volcanic materials up to 7 kilometers from the crater. This activity led to the destruction of several structures, including houses, schools, and a convent, and caused power outages and severe weather conditions, further alarming residents. The disaster claimed at least 10 lives and injured dozens. Approximately 10,000 people across 14 villages were affected, with about 4,400 individuals seeking refuge in emergency shelters. Photos and videos circulated on social media showed tons of volcanic debris covering houses up to their rooftops in villages, where hot volcanic material set fire to houses. Since the initial eruption, activity at the volcano has increased. The most recent eruption on November 8th saw the largest column of ash so far recorded at 10 kilometers high. Volcanic materials, including smoldering rocks, lava, and hot, thumb-sized fragments of gravel and ash, were thrown up high into the air from the crater. Craters left by rocks falling from the eruptions measured up to 13 meters wide and 5 meters deep. Since this eruption, authorities increased the volcano's alert status to the highest level and expanded the danger zone to a radius of 8 kilometers. Authorities have warned the thousands of people who fled the area not to return home, as the government planned to evacuate about 16,000 residents out of the danger zone. Since January 2024, thousands of people have been evacuated after Mount Luatobi Laki Laki began erupting, spewing thick clouds and forcing the government to close the island's airport. Three other airports in neighboring districts have also been closed since the recent eruption, after Indonesia's air navigation issued a safety warning due to volcanic ash. Indonesia's history of volcanic disasters, including catastrophic eruptions like that of Mount Tambora and Krakatoa, has led to the development of a robust system for monitoring and managing volcanic activity. The Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation closely monitors Mount Lawitobi Laki Laki and other active volcanoes in Indonesia. Modern monitoring techniques include the use of seismographs, satellite imagery, and gas emission measurements. When signs of increased volcanic activity are detected, authorities issue warnings and coordinate with local authorities to implement evacuation plans and disaster response measures. Despite these efforts, challenges remain in effectively communicating risk to local communities, particularly in remote areas. Traditional beliefs and economic pressures often influence people's decisions to stay in high-risk areas, even when evacuation orders are issued. Several challenges must be addressed to ensure the sustainable management of Mount Luatobi and its surrounding environment. Strengthening early warning systems, improving infrastructure, and raising community awareness about volcanic hazards are critical for reducing disaster risk. Protecting the unique ecosystems around the volcano is vital for maintaining biodiversity and ensuring the long-term health of the environment. The potential impact of climate change on volcanic activity and disaster risk adds another layer of complexity to managing volcanoes like Luatobi. Despite these challenges, Mount Luatobi Laki Laki remains a vital part of the geological and cultural fabric of Flores Island. Its dynamic nature serves as a reminder of the powerful forces shaping our planet and the resilience of the communities that live in harmony with these forces. The recent eruptions underscore the importance of continuous monitoring, research, and preparedness to mitigate the risks associated with this active volcano. Understanding its geological characteristics and potential for future activity is essential for safeguarding lives and property in the region. As Indonesia continues to navigate the challenges and opportunities presented by its volcanic heritage, Mount Luwotobi Laki Laki will undoubtedly remain a focal point of both fascination and reverence 